So, welcome back once more to the ongoing Dark Theater May Biafra Remembrance Amphasis Remembrance Day. Here is uh, more like uh, people that want to, like, more like a uh, gunshot salute. But here, uh, BNG is offering something else. We have to understand one thing here. It is only the ingenuity of Biafrans that will restore Biafra for them. It's only the ingenuity. And these things you see, these things you see, uh, is the ingenuity we are talking about of Biafrans, of our people. We can, that thing you see elsewhere, we can, and it is inevitable. Also, remember that this is 101 Artillery Brigade Mbauku. They stormed the Nsuka headquarters and they have been very impressive. Impressive, impressive that the headquarters, the soldiers in the headquarters, are very much hailing them for their coordination, gallantry, and their execution. So, the preparation is ongoing just behind us here, but uh, for certain reasons, I don't want to shift the camera yet to this uh, area where the uh, missiles are being positioned to be launched. So, as soon as the launch is complete, I will now I want to be a position the camera. The men are happy. Our soldiers, BNG Biafra soldiers, they are happy. They are singing. They are happy for the privilege to lay down their lives for the sake of Biafra. These are gallant men. These are youths. These are men. They are willing to lay down their lives. That they are dead. To believe it's an honor to die for Biafra. We have to appreciate. We have to enjoy. We have to be proud of the morale and the doggedness of a Biafra. He's showing this man in the Biafra army the persevere, the endure, the carry on irrespective of the situation. They march on irrespective of not getting the requisite or the enough or sufficient things they need, but they keep marching on. They are not stopping. Happily, they are laying down their lives. They are not hiding their faces. This is to show you that they are proud. They are proud. They are proud soldiers. Proud of their country. There was a country in 1967 with everything a country needs only dead to be a sovereign state. The country surrendered in 1970 under the force of the invading federal troops of the Nigerian state. That nation, that country that was lost in 1967 is coming back to life. This is the significance of what you are seeing from 101 Artillery Brigade Mbauku. Let me make something clear. These are just selected few soldiers from Mbauku, 101 Artillery Brigade. They are here today and I've been making the headquarters, the personnel in the headquarters proud. 
Behind the scene, General Innocent and Oji has also confirmed his gratitude and his astonishment at what 101 Artillery Brigade in Buku is able to showcase or show him today. Their coordination, their gallantry, their dedication, their perseverance. They have shown it, the rare courage to stand, to keep believing, to keep fighting, to sustain this fight. That is what is playing out today. Behind me, I will quick, soon quickly turn the position of the camera to see why the engineers, the engineering section, are quiet positioning the Mesa for the test launch. You know, they have some secret things they wouldn't want the public to see how uh, they are positioning and coordinating most of the things they have. Aren't you surprised? It shouldn't be surprised anyway, because in 1967, our engineers did wonders. The Nigerian state said, Go on. Uh, yeah, I couldn't remember. Go on. Vow and boasted that he would crush Biafra's in three days. All of a sudden, it took three good years for Biafra's to surrender on condition of no victor, no vanquish. That is the Biafra's we are. We don't give up. We are Biafra. The restoration of Biafra is inevitable. There is no option we have. Because if there is option, people died in 1967, 3.5 million died. It didn't stop Biafra. From 1967 and going. Till 1999, people were still dying, being in prison. Yet, the spirit, the Biafra we are talking about, didn't die. 1999, the pioneer of the new Biafra, the special of this struggle, Chifra was Rike, commenced the agitation. Masobians were killed. They were imprisoned. A lot of things were done. Yeah, they didn't give up. Our people continue dying. Dying. Let's take a look. BNG, death before dishonor. Death before dishonor. Long live the Afro National Guard. While the engineering department uh, go about the setting up of uh, the Mesa. Uh, okay, now let's let me turn up to the engineering department. As they go on, you see the loading of. Uh, the launcher this is this is dd do 67 adm the ojuku 67 air defense measure you see the loading is ongoing it's being loaded for launch and uh, we're gonna experience it we're gonna see it as is being loaded for the test launch. These are four, yeah, four mount uh, launcher. You see, it's quite connected. This is what we are talking about: the ingenuity of their France. This is what we are, and we cannot hide it, and we cannot stop being what we are. And with this. You can be guaranteed, you can be rest assured that Biafra is moving, it's on course. 
the missile will be launched in 13 air. This is a test launch. This is a test launch. It's not going anywhere because of the safety of our people. So BNG is being cautious to ensure that lives of your friends are preserved. So this will be launched into the thin air while this other one is Alright, the commanding general, Jarena Santaji, is making his way in to inspect the launch. So, may I have your permission to hand over the rest of the program? So, granted. Thank you, sir. Right. You are good to go. Yes, sir. After this one, now we test load this thing and then we go into the second segment. Bora! 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 Biafra is our right. If to fight for freedom is a crime, I will always commit that crime. Because fighting for freedom is never a crime. If it is a crime, Mazen Nandaziki will commit a crime. If it is a crime, the likes of Nelson Mandela, they committed a crime. If it is a crime, Martin Luther King Jr., they all committed a crime. But if at last, what they were fighting for, we are granted to them and they were respected, I believe we Biafran will deserve one. Yes, sir. Therefore, are for no cause for long. Yes, sir. This is time to test launch the DO. 067 ADN. Why we call it 067 ADN to let the world know that we have never forgotten the wound of 1967 because it's still fresh in our memory. And the history of 1967 is about to repeat itself again. Very simple, whether they like it or not. Because Biafra is our right. No cause for long. All right, this to also remind you that during a Center J uh, in 2007 was in prison for this same fight and uh, when he made his way out of the prison he moved straight to continue this very quest for the restoration of Biafra so this is a man that knows where he is going and what he is doing he is not relenting and he has made it clear to us that if it is a crime to fight for Biafra that he will commit it again, 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 and again, unless he is no more in life, which is not possible because God has given us the mandate, giving him the mandate to militarily do this job. Once more, we should uh, understand that the launching is about to kick off. You see the personnel. You see the personnel. I cannot actually come closer to this because i'm quite afraid please so the the personnel is uh, adjusting the launcher to enable uh, the launch to move all right so he's making make, choosing his target as jarena santaji has ordered him to raise it up and make sure it goes into the thin air uh, for the safety of uh, uh, people, our people in a faraway places to make sure that it goes into the thin air and lands safely. So that is what you can see the personnel of uh, BNG close to the missile launcher. He's handling the missile launcher and about to trigger. Uh, under the that will happen under the command of General Innocent Oji. I want to also uh, take this time to let us know that this BNG we have is a blessing, and if you see what is going on today, it's just to show you that with something like this and with maximum support for BNG, it will not take this war will not last seven days, just like what happened between the Israelis and the, the Arab. Uh, nations it would not last 
Oops. All right. The engine is lacking. Ready for firing. Four, one, five. India, mark, mark. Fuck throws. Fuck throws. Jesus. Jesus. I hear you. The first launch has uh man, it's an app, man. I've not seen I've not seen something like this before anywhere. So I meet my fear and uh Ah the mission. Oh uh, so everybody is taking cover for the men. Everybody is taking cover for, for the men. Money, sir. Mission accomplished, sir. All right. Go back and fill the girl for the second launching. Thank you, sir. Carry on. All right. Uh, the personnel just informed the general commanding officer that uh, he the mission his mission has been completed and he has been ordered to go back to project uh, the main uh, the main one the bigger one. Uh, and uh, although the general behind the scene here yeah. okay so the uh, general said that uh, for some certain reasons he wants to he wants to make sure that the camera is able to capture what's going on let me also take cover while all right, I, I think I have to stand this camera here. General, please wait. I have to stand the camera here and also take cover. So, because what I saw recently is, is something I can't stand. So, um, I think the camera is free, it's positioned for this. So I'm trying to keep it where we'll be able to see because it has been a very big problem capturing the uh, speed of this on camera and uh, it's quite unfortunate that we don't have the advanced camera needed to capture things like this. Uh, All so, right. so you can see the general commanding officer uh, with the with the remote control to wait yeah it has been positioned so i'm leaving all right let's see how it goes Yes. All right. So they are they are trying to make sure that uh, safety is considered first uh, for the people because of the intensity and the ruggedity of this very uh, missile uh, is dangerous, massively, extremely dangerous to come near. And uh, this is proving quite difficult for us to capture what we want to capture. So it's, it's a real, real concern because I can't, I can't stand with what I've just seen a few minutes ago. I can't really stand for my own life. Uh, you know, not a soldier, just a media man. <laughs> 
so I can't, I can't really stand this. So while they try to make sure that uh, the the Nisa is positioned in a way or shape that uh, it can only go into the sky and fall back for the safety of uh, people in Enugu state. So it's working out and uh, it's working out. They're trying to uh, complete some details. They're trying to complete some details. So wait for them. So what am I saying? I keep saying this because I'm unapologetic and then uh, I have to make it very, very clear. If we are ready for Biafra, we we'll fight for Biafra. If we are not ready for Biafra, we go home and rest. Just imagine what is going on in our own land. You see people killing unnecessarily, maiming people, Okay, so uh, sorry for this. Uh, it's ready to be. Uh, should I? Should I? I will keep the thing and, co and come out. Uh, it's okay, sir. Please wait. Let me shift to. Uh, it's, I think the camera. It's fine. Okay, wait. On my heels. All right, here goes for it. Go again. So the details has not been been completed. The details has not been completed. They are still uh, trying to make sure that our concerns are addressed. For the safety of the personnel around and uh, every other thing so I, I was saying i was talking about the issue of biafra how could people start killing our people innocent biafrans in the name of what why that is not biafra we're talking about this is why we all need bng this is why you have to rally around BNG because it's a refined and defined military of people and for the people with a with a I mean with they are on course and with a clear aim towards restoring Biafra. Biafra till tomorrow till the kingdom come. It's not an affair that can be gotten through civil disobedience or politicking. Because in Africa, we've not had a country or a nation or a people that organically got independence. It has been the neo colonialist dividing or recreating their colonies so what we are talking today is the mirror and the arch the determination the perseverance the courage and much courage of bng to making sure that Biafra is restored with strength. We don't need to beg anybody for the restoration of Biafra. 
We don't need to negotiate with anybody for the restoration of Biafra. Why? Because Biafra was an independent state in 1967. Nigeria was an independent state. Uh, Biafra was an independent state, sorry. People came by force. They came by force and took away our sovereignty. It takes force to get it back. So this is the mentality of BNG. This is the mission statement of BNG. Now they are ready to lay down their lives. They are ready to do anything to make sure that Biafra becomes a sovereign state. All we need, all that is needed, is just that bit of our rule, our quota, to making sure the struggle becomes a success. While the details, some of the details are being checked and to ensure the safety of uh, the personnel, as you can see the personnel, everybody is taking cover, everybody is hiding far away from the Mizar, including myself, I'm quite taking cover because it's, it's quite difficult now to get this thing done today. It's quite difficult to get this thing done on a live camera. So, and pardon me, I don't have the courage to be around with what I, I saw with just that launcher. So, we're very cool. Gotta be patient. Why all the details? sorted out to ensure safety of 101 artillery brigade in Baoku. The engineering department are trying to sort it out. I have received a message that if the details for safety are not guaranteed, if safety is not guaranteed, then the launching of this very missile will be shifted for the second, for the third agenda on the list. So that is what I have received. After this very agenda, then BNG will be going to the field for complete and total, total coverage of the day. We are just experiencing, we are just starting. We are just starting, BNG is just starting. So shortly after this launch, the next activity that will be coming to you is activity in the field for the parade, where our heroes and heroines will be honored. The parade for them. Oh, I've seen her. Since morning, I never talk. Since morning, I never talk. Since morning, I never rest. Since morning, I never sit down. Since morning, I never eat. Since morning, I 
just have the general commanding officer uh the message i got a message and he wants to share the message with our audience uh, dear friends and lovers of freedom all over the world one of engineer just arrived and uh, there is a new measure of safety that he wants to apply before we release the grant to air defense minister Ekeoba. So we beg you to keep focus and continue. After our third segment as we're about to enter, we'll come back then and relaunch the Ekeoba. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, audience, uh, we'll be moving right now to the third, uh, on the I third on the list, uh, the third item, which is the final program, uh, complete parade, uh, for the 30th May, for this Maiden Armed Forces Remembrance Day. So, while the uh, engineer is observing uh, the safety measures, uh, we'll be going, having a break now. So, stay connected and uh, share and call your friends and families and dear friends all over the world as we move to the main, main item of the day. We are moving in now. Stay connected, wait, stay, don't leave. Stay around, hang around. Let's move to the main, main business of the day. We are more missiles to be test launched today. Thank you. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Moro, hi. Moro, hi. Contopos, contopero. Contopos, contopero. Contopero, contopos. ENG, death before his honor. ENG, death before his honor. Death before this honor. The engineers are trying to rectify the safety measure. So stay with us while we come back. We'll be going for a short break to enter.
for the final program for the day. Thank you.